So 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 Sunday. Now, today is Friday. Now, I've already cooked my turnip greens, and uh, now I'm getting ready to put the pork chitlins, Aunt Bessie's, Aunt, Aunt Bessie's. And normally, they're not that nasty, but I always pull the membrane off of them. And uh, I'm getting ready to uh, clean them. So, oh, and let me show you what, show you, let me show you what I have found. I found, huh, chitlin seasoning. And I put a little bit in my hand to taste it, and it tasted like salt, and then it had like hydrated onions in it. I'm thinking, but, uh, now I am getting ready to put those on. Now, today's Friday, and I've did my turnip greens, and I want to do my chitlins tonight. And uh, tomorrow's Saturday. I want to do my yams and my uh, black-eyed peas. Okay, and then Sunday, I want fresh cornbread. Uh, fresh cornbread uh, muffins. So, Sunday will be the day I do my fresh cornbread muffins. So, uh, let me get started and uh, cleaning these chitlins. And they say, if you say chitlins, you don't know what you're doing. But it's called chitlins. I guess you know what you're doing when you say chitlins. I'll be right back. Okay, let me show you what you will need to put in your chitlins. Chitlins. I'm going to cut some bell pepper, onion, and then I've got this little tiny pepper here at the bottom I'm going to put in, okay? Now, actually, people don't eat chitlins but once a year, and that's either... Uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, or New Year's, but I am I'm, I I have a craving for chitlins tonight. Well, Sunday, and black pepper. I don't normally put black pepper in. I normally put white pepper, but I could not find any in my cabinet or on my uh, gurney there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put black pepper. And the reason why you don't put black pepper is because all them little spots gonna be in there. And people going to think that they nasty, okay? But uh, to be honest with you, ain't nobody eating them but me and my husband. And these are five pounds instead of the 10-pound bag uh, bucket. These are five-pound uh, bag of chitlins, Aunt Bessie pork chitlins, packed in water. And these are supposed to be just rinse, cook, and enjoy. But uh, I don't... Just cook, rinse, and enjoy. I will be peeling off some of the membrane, okay? Uh, crushed pepper. I may put a little meat tenderizer on them. I don't know. Adobo. Minced garlic. The, uh, chicken bouillon cube or powder, garlic powder, onion powder, and I may put the chitlin seasoning in it. Now, this is something I found, and it was strange to me. And like I said, I tasted it in my hand, and uh, it tasted salty, and it tasted like it had hydrated onions in it, you know, because I, I got a big taste. So, it tasted like hydrated onion, onions. 
Okay. Now let me get started and uh, I'll be right back. I forgot about the chitlins. And look, they are clean. They are really clean. The Aunt Besties are really clean. But uh, I like to pull off the membrane on there, you know, to make sure that they are really clean. But uh, this is like a five pound bucket of chitlins, package of chitlins. And uh, I'm gonna get started. Okay, y'all. These ain't besties. Aunt besties are living up to what they say they are. Because there is nothing nasty about these chitlins. And you want to leave some fat on them. But I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the membrane. Yeah, they are really living up to what they say they are because I have never <coughs> seen chitlins this clean before. Now, the right hand is the membrane, and the left hand is what I'm keeping. So, I am going to pull the membrane off. Then I'm going to cut them up. Well, I'm going to uh, take my uh, kitchen shears and uh, cut them. Okay. These are some really, really clean chitlins. And like I say, I had a very bad taste for chitlins. I have been wanting some so bad. Okay, this is the membrane over here in this hand. And these are the chitlins that we're going to keep in the left hand. And I'm gonna cut them because they they very big. They are really big. Cut them out real good. And I'm gonna start with another one. And that's the membrane over there. Okay. And look at here. These are really, really, I wonder how they did that. Okay, I'm gonna pull the membrane off. But you do wanna leave some fat on. You don't wanna take it all off. And I don't want to waste this whole video and my whole night in cleaning chitlins. Because normally it takes me about two hours to clean a bucket. And I'm just going to pick it off. I'm not going to pull it off. I'm going to pick it off. Because they're good and clean. As 
So if you want to go this way with chitlins, I will go with the Aunt Bessie's. And they were $13 a package. And they, and like I say, it's like a five, five pound package of chitlins. And normally you get a bucket for, you know, 10 pounds. And uh, I can't see no shit or doo-doo on none of this. But I am gonna boil them. And uh, boil them about three times. And normally I put a uh, Italian dressing on them and uh, for the uh, marinade. But I'm not gonna do the Italian dressing tonight. I'm gonna do just the regular chitlins. Okay. So, I'm going to go away and uh, finish them. Okay, guys. I'm going to boil these chitlins. One time and rinse them. And then I may boil them another time and rinse them. So, I'm going to put the top on and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm now fixing to rinse this little five pound package of chitlins. Oh. I said I'm going to rinse them like twice, but uh, I think one time will do. And actually, after they shrivel down, it will not be enough, but for two people to eat on. Okay, guys, by this being a five-pound bucket of chitlins, package of chitlins. They have shriveled down to nothing. I have rinsed them one time. Okay? I'm gonna add about a half teaspoon of onion powder. Because this it's not like it's a 10 pound bucket of chitlins. This is like a five pack of chitlins and a teaspoon of I'm sorry chicken bouillon half teaspoon of garlic powder Half teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Oh, and it's smelling so good. Mm. Teaspoon of minced garlic. teaspoon of adobo and you remember I said I add white pepper 
I don't have white pepper. I'm going to add. A teaspoon of black pepper and I know they clean meat tenderizer about a teaspoon seasoning. First time I saw this, about a teaspoon. And now I'm going to add the bell peppers and onions and that little bitty tiny piece of pepper. Now if I had celery, I would add celery. But I don't have any celery. So I'm just gonna add the bell pepper and the onion. And I'm gonna put about like a cup of water. Even though it's gonna make its own water, I'm gonna add a cup of water. Ooh, smells good. I think we can get like two servings off of this. Now I'm gonna cover it and cook for about three hours. And I will be back. Okay, guys. These chitlins have been boiling now for about maybe 10 minutes. I mean, mm, two hours. 10 minutes. Ha! Huh. And uh, I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of vinegar. And I may add, since they've got like two more hours to go, I may add just like another cup of water. Okay. So, in two more hours, I think they should be ready. Okay. It's got to be against the law to look this damn good. Because, baby, I feel real good, and I wish I would. It's got to be against the law to look this damn good. Everybody watch out, watch out now I'm ready for a good time And I came to groove, the whole band's here and we came to move Got a fresh haircut and two new shoes We're here all night like we got nothing to lose I'm coming out the jacket cause we're turning up the heat I wanna see you clapping when you get up out your seat It's time to make it happen when we hit these streets I'm coming in hot and I can't be beat Watch out now Baby watch out now Watch out 